everybody out there in YouTube land. It's George from the Elvis Final Guy channel. Uh, today I'm doing a video for my buddy Bobby Z. Do you know Bobby Z? He's got a uh, music collection channel now where he does uh, Q&A videos. Uh, pe people want to see his collections, a certain aspect of his collections. Uh, he just did a video for me where I wanted to see like certain parts of his MoFi stuff and all that good stuff. Go check out his channel. There will be a link to his channel down below. Uh, check him out and subscribe, you know. I mean, he's got like a thousand subscribers or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I mean, for once, I actually have more than Bobby Z. You believe that? Oh, well, I'm guessing. I haven't, I haven't checked his channel out in three hours, so could have surpassed me already. Um, Bobby Z, he, he has a mobile fidelity collection out of this world, a Japanese import collection out of this world, a CD, Japanese CD collection, import CDs, different imports, German, stuff like that, uh, white label promos, and that is what this video is. He said that he wanted to see my white label promo collection because I can get them fairly Fairly often here in Nashville, I mean, it's Music City, so there's a lot of promos, radio station promos. Now, the one thing that this place has, though, and I don't know the validity of this stuff just because of it being Nashville, there are a lot of promos here that... Let's see if I can just find one. This is how... Let's see. I should have been prepared for this, but... It's not that hard to find one. Anyway... Um, there's a lot of promos that you find here that have the gold label stamp on the cover, but the label is just your ordinary label. And that's 90% of the promos that you find in Nashville. But I think a lot of that is because in the later years, especially in country music, they stopped doing the white label promo thing. I don't think they've always done the white label promo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Nashville is full of thousands and thousands. Every record store you go into, every third record you touch will have a gold stamp promo on it, but it's just got the regular label. Now, what I'm showing you today, uh, I just picked out a handful. Uh, I'm going through right now, I've already alphabetized my entire collection as far as CDs, cassettes, and albums go. So now I'm cataloging them on Discogs. And as I'm doing that, I'm putting down what's a promo or not. So I don't have right off the top of my head everything I know that I have as a promo. And I don't have the promos in their own section. I just have them riddled throughout my collection. So I had to just kind of go off the cuff and pick out a few things that I knew were promo. So I'll go ahead and get started with the 45s. Most of these will be white label promos. Now the first one I have, this is a, um, it's a sample sound sheet from Kenny Rogers, His Greatest Hits and Finest Performances. It's just a flimsy 45. And if you look at the bottom, it does say for promotional only, not for sale. And across the top, for demonstration only, not for sale. And it's from Reader's Digest. It's really, really cool. This is from 1986. Next is uh, Chris Ledoux, Call the Wild, and Cadillac Ranch. That's on a white label. For jukeboxes only. I don't know if that's really a pro. I don't think it's a promo, but I thought it was cool. Now, as you know, anybody that looks at my channel knows that I'm a big Elvis fan. And also, I'm a big Ronnie McDowell and Raul Donner fan, which are Elvis-related artists. I mean, they have their own 
they, they had their own, uh, you know, identities, obviously. But this is a Rao Donner on Fontana for broadcast only. The other side of me and good loving. This is another Raoul Donner, So Much Lovin' and the Wedding Song from the Lords of Flatbush. Uh, this is on Mid-Eagle, DJ copy. This is Michael Landon, as in House on Prairie, on a white label RCA Victor, Without You, or Without You, and Linda is Lonesome. And here is Ronnie McDowell's first song that was released. It's called The King Is Gone. It was a tribute to Elvis. And um, this is a promo copy on the Scorpion label. I've always loved this label. Let me take it out of the sleeve so you can really see it good. And the flip side is also The King Is Gone. Both sides stereo. I don't, I don't know why. I guess they just did both sides so the other side wouldn't be blank in stereo I don't know in 1977 they weren't really doing mono though now this is another uh, Bobby you'll probably like this I mean you probably don't care about the artist but Ronnie McDowell once again he's one of my favorites but this is one of his 80 this is from 87 it's a country song of his called make me late for work today and it's on a white label promo on blue vinyl on MCA records and both sides, once again, are stereo and the same song. It's in the MCA sleeve. Another Ronnie McDowell on MCA. This is also from, this is from 1986. This is on red vinyl. Loving that crazy feeling. Once again, loving that crazy feeling promo on both sides. <clears throat> Let's see. This is this was a cool find. I'm a big Joan Jett fan, and this is from the soundtrack Light of Day. Uh the Bar Busters, which is Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. And that's what it's labeled on the label is the Bar Busters, but then it says Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Light of Day. It's a white label promo on CBS. This is some, this is Dirty Mary and Crazy Larry by Zella Lear and her Gypsy Band. This is 1974 on Mega Records, white label promo copy. And the other side is also Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. I just picked that one up so it's a little dirty. It hasn't been cleaned or sleeved properly. Just picked this one up too. This is Art Garfunkel. In a little while, I'll be on my way. Both sides, the same song on Columbia. Demonstration not for sale. In the Columbia sleeve. This was a cool find. I don't have a Columbia sleeve for it, but this is the last Gunfighter Ballad. On Columbia from 1977, Johnny Cash, white label promo. One side's mono, though, and one side is stereo from 1977. This was a really, really cool find. The label's got a lot of uh, wear. Uh, the vinyl's got some scratches, but it still plays fine. But I just bought it for what it is. Uh, it's Words by the Bee Gees on Atco, and it is a white label promo um, on the side of Words. It's covered up, but it says Plug Side, and then the other side is uh, Sinking Ships. <clears throat> and 
And here is Scorpions, No One Like You, and No One Like You, stereo, yeah, both sides stereo. It's on Mercury, but it's not white label, but it is promotional copy, not for sale. And here is Rush on Mercury, um, Entree Noose from Permanent Waves, and it's a promotional copy, not for sale. Both sides, once again, stereo on that also. Uh, here's another Rao Donner. This is Run Little Linda and Beyond the Heartbreak. This is on Reprise. Promo not for sale. A lot of wear and tear to the label. But the vinyl's beautiful on it. I just, I got that just to have it. I've got another copy of it. This, this is Just a Little Sunshine on Rising Sun and If I Promise by Rao Donner. And this is Disc Jockey Not For Sale. And here is Leslie Gore. This is on A&M Records. Uh, the song is Immortality. One side is mono and one side is stereo. Mono has the A&M Records with a white, sleet, white label. And on the stereo side, it's got the orange A and promotional copy in the A&M records. And uh, this is a cool one. This is an A&M sleeve with, um, it's a polylined A&M sleeve. This is Humble Pie, I Don't Need No Doctor, and a song for Jenny on A&M records. And that is also a white label promo. Hope you're enjoying these, Bobby. Uh, I know all this isn't your type of music, but it's kind of what I got, you know. Uh, this is Rodney Crowell, uh, Ashes by Now and Blues in the Daytime. This is on um, Warner, and it's a white label promo. I'm a big Rodney Crowell fan. Now, this is a really cool one. This is an Elvis Presley picture sleeve. For pieces of my life and bringing it back. This is introducing uh, the new Today album on the bottom. And the 45 is on the RCA. Like a... It's like a yellow label, not for sale. This is what the RCAs look like in the 70s when they were promos. Technical difficulties here, folks. <clears throat> Another Ronnie McDowell, this is It's Only Make Believe on both sides, both in stereo, and it is promotional only, not for sale. There you go. And this is Jim Reeves and Dottie West. This came out after Jim Re Jim's death. They did an album of duets, and this is on a white label RCA Victor. Now, not all of these say promo on the white label RCA Victors, but when they are white label, they are promo on the RCA. And here is a 70s yellow promo. Jim Reeves. This is uh, When Two Worlds Collide, back with Could I Be Falling in Love. came in the RCA sleeves 
And I got one more Elvis, which is always on my mind. Back with my boy, this came out in 1985, his 50th anniversary of his birth, 35 to 55, uh, 85. And it is the Elvis 50th anniversary label and also not for sale. This is a promo. So that does it for the 45s. I got a stack of albums. Um, this one's really cool. This one I just acquired. In fact, if you just watched my video of that collection that I bought of the classic rock with like the Almond Brothers and all that in it. This was actually part of the collection, but I saved it for the white label promo. Uh, this is a not an easy record to find. That's the Walker Brothers. The sun ain't going to shine anymore. It's on Smash. Uh, this is Mono. Uh, MGS 27082 the back when I first saw it I got really excited because one it's the Walker Brothers which you don't see in the wild hardly at all and it says promo copy not for sale so the whole time I'm like please be a white label promo because I have no smash and of course inside was the original smash inner sleeve which was just beautiful it's really it doesn't it's not even split and look at this white label monoral for broadcast only not for sale right across the bottom and the vinyl is just stunning it sounds beautiful And yes, before before you ask in the comments, I do have some uh, mobile fidelity inner sleeves coming, so I can preserve this inner sleeve. It just I don't have them right now in my local record store. I usually buy from. It's hit and miss whether or not they have them in stock. So a lot of times I just have to order them from MoFi. I'll be lucky to preserve the sleeve doing this. Alright. This is a Gene Vincent, The Day the World Turned Blue. Now we have a promotional copy up here. This is on Kama Sutra. But it is not a white label promo. So this is kind of one like I was talking about. I have Oreo Speedwagon, Lost in a Dream. Got your time sticker. And it is on the white label Epic. Emotional copy. This was cool to find. Rick Nelson, uh, Intakes. Another one that's on Epic. I believe, yes. And it is also a demonstration not for sale got Dean Martin this is a uh, Tex Martin rides again and uh, I saw this when I picked it up I'm a big Dean Martin fan and this is on reprise and yes it is a white label promo and I love white label promos, especially in uh, big albums. Now, here's another one. This is Marillion. Uh, Seasons End. It does have this Music City Records distribution lent for promotional use only. Any sale or unauthorized transfer is prohibited. Blah, blah, blah. Sticker on it. Yet it is. regular capital purple label so I don't know what to really think about those you got Tom Jones with the time sticker and on the back you've got demonstration not for sale gold stamp
yet it's on orange label epic so once again I don't know what to think about that now here is my favorite of all time one of my favorite Doors albums is absolutely live and this is just beautiful it's got your Electra Records promotion copy not for sale sticker on it uh, it's not got a lot of there's some pretty good shelf wear but no splits at all beautiful gatefold it does come with The original Electra Records inner sleeves. Of course, I have them in Mo5 sleeves. And yes, it is a white label promo on Electra Records. So that was a very nice pickup for me. This was another one. This is a stereo copy of Doors Strange Days. And it is on Electra White Label Promo. Those are probably my two favorite White Label Promos. And this was just to throw in. It's not a White Label Promo, but it is a promo. Once again, this is one of those things. This is a Mobile Fidelity, Melissa Manchester's first self-titled album, Melissa. And right there, you have demonstration copy not for sale. On the back, you've got your Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs. Yeah, this this is a it's not a Japanese though, but it, <laughs> either way, this has everything in it. It's got this um, and that's all it has but then obviously it's got the regular white label mobile fidelity label so you know it's not a promo label uh, so I don't know the validity of that you know if you have any expertise on that Bobby please let me know you know contact me on Facebook or leave a message down below buddy uh, I've, I've always actually meant to ask you about this album but I just I don't know I love this. It's got the Mobile Fidelity uh, White Album. And uh, do you have any Mobile Fidelity promos, Bobby? Or do you think that this is a legit promo or did somebody put this stamp on here? I don't know. Just let me know, buddy. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button or don't. I don't care. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And don't forget to go to Bobby Z's channel. And, uh, you know, that's all I got. I got a couple of videos to upload, uh, so I'm going to get to work. See you guys on the flip side.